Hi friends. I welcome you to my video on multiple choice questions in Retina. Let's start. Question number 1. What are cotton wool spots? The options are A. Swollen axons caused by ischemia. Option B. Protein deposits. Option C. Retinal edema. Option D. Microaneurysms. The correct answer is Option A. Cotton wool spots represents damage to the nerve fiber caused by microinfarctions. Question number 2. In retinal detachment, the fluid accumulates between Option A. Outer plexiform layer and outer nuclear layer Option B. The inner nuclear layer and outer plexiform layer Option C. The ganglion cell layer and inner plexiform layer Option D. The RPE and the photoreceptor layer The correct answer is Option D. The retinal pigment epithelium and photoreceptor layer Adhesion of these layers is maintained by a variety of mechanisms. Due to various causes, there can be collection of subretinal fluid. They are classified as regmatogenous retinal detachment, tractional and exudative retinal detachments. Question 3. According to the ETDRS, which one of the following is considered as clinically significant diabetic macular edema? Options are A. Hard exudates within 500 microns of the fovea. Option B. Retinal thickening greater than one disc area in size and within one disc diameter of the center of the fovea. Option C. Diffuse leakage on fluorescein angiography. Option D. A circinate ring of exudates located to disc areas from the fovea. The correct answer is option B. Retinal thickening greater than one disc area in size and within one disc diameter of the center of the fovea. Question 4. The temporal retina is vascularized at 36 weeks of gestation, approximately 4 weeks before the nasal retina. Is the statement true or false? The correct answer is option B. False. The retinal vessels grow outwards from the central part of the retina and extend towards the retinal periphery. The nasal part of the retina is fully vascularized by 36 weeks of gestation followed by the temporal retina which is completely vascularized between 36 to 40 weeks of gestation age. Question number 5 what finding is most consistent with sidrosis bulbi? Option A. Dense vitritis. Option B. Sunflower cataract. Option C. Deposits in desmet membrane. And Option D. Peripheral retinal pigmentation. The correct answer is Option D. Peripheral retinal pigmentation. Sidrosis bulbi is caused by retained intraocular iron particle. All the other options namely, vitritis, sunflower cataract and deposits in desmet membrane is caused in chalcosis which is caused by copper deposition. Next question. Bullseye maculopathy is seen in which of the following condition? Option A. Tay-Sachs disease. Option B. Cystinosis. Option C. Fabry disease. Option D. Batten disease. The correct answer is Batten disease. The ophthalmological features in Tay-Sachs disease is cherry red spot. Retinal crystals are present in cystinosis. Dilated and tortuous vessels are seen in Fabry disease. Question number 7. Eight-month-old child was diagnosed to have retinoblastoma with vitreous seeding. The other eye looks normal. What is the management? Option A. Exenteration. Option B. Enucleation. Option C. Irradiation. 
Option D. Retinal surgery. The correct answer is option B. Enucleation. Enucleation is done to prevent the spread of tumor cells to other parts of body. Question 8. A vision-threatening delayed complication of central retinal vein occlusion is Option A. Macular degeneration Option B. Retinal detachment Option C. Retinal neovascularization Option D. Neovascular glaucoma The correct answer is Option D. Neovascular glaucoma Ischemic CRVO leads to neovascular glaucoma and usually presents after three months of initial ischemic event and often called 90-day glaucoma. Question 9. True autofluorescence is a feature of Option A. Optic disc drusen Option B. Cotton wool spots Option C. Hard exudates Option D. Myelinated nerve fiber layer Correct answer is optic disc drusen. Autofluorescence is defined as the emission of fluorescent light from ocular structures in the absence of sodium fluorescein. On the other hand, pseudo-autofluorescence results from reflection of light from light-colored or white fundal structures such as myelinated nerve fibers, sclera, hard exudates or cotton wool spots. Tenth question. Which of the following causes sudden painless loss of vision? Options are A. Central retinal artery occlusion B. Age-related macular degeneration C. Cataract D. Angle closure glaucoma The correct answer is Option A. Central retinal artery occlusion In cystoid macular edema Fluid accumulates in which of the following layer of retina? Option A. Outer nuclear layer. Option B. Outer plexiform layer. Option C. Ganglion cell layer. Option D. Nerve fiber layer. Correct answer is option B. Outer plexiform layer. In cystoid macular edema. Collection of fluid is in outer plexiform layer and in a nuclear layer centered around foveola. Next question. Retina is thinnest at. Options are. A. Fovea. B. Foveola. C. Macula. D. Ora serrata. Correct answer is option D. Ora serrata. Next question. What is average arm to retina circulation time? Options are Option A 5 to 9 seconds Option B 10 to 15 seconds Option C 5 to 8 minutes Option D 10 to 15 minutes The correct answer is Option B 10 to 15 seconds the dye takes 10 to 15 seconds to reach the retina after being injected into the arm. It first enters the posterior ciliary arteries and thus choroidal filling is seen first. It is seen in choroidal phase in FFA. Fourteenth question. Which of the following is the definitive host for typical ocular toxocara? Options. A. Dog. B. Cat C. Human D. Rat Correct answer is option A. Dog Toxocara canis species is the most common cause of toxocariasis. It is a natural parasite of dogs. Next question. What is the most common ocular clinical sign in AIDS patients? Options A. Macular edema Option B. Retinal hemorrhage. Option C. Cotton wool spots. Option D. Kaposi sarcoma. The correct answer is option C. Cotton wool spots. Next question. What is non-invasive diagnostic test is most specific for detecting RP cell death? 
options are AFFA B funders photography COCT angiography D funders autofluorescence the correct answer is fundus autofluorescence. Autofluorescence from fundus is due to lipofuscin in RPE. If RPE cell dies due to loss of lipofuscin, there is loss of autofluorescence and appears dark. In central retinal artery occlusion, the cherry red spot is due to. Options are Option A. Macular hemorrhage Option B. Increased choroidal perfusion. Option C. Increased retinal perfusion. Option D. The contrast between pale retina and choroid. The correct answer is option D. The contrast between pale retina and choroid. In the fovea, the underlying choroid with intact RPE is visible and appears as a cherry red spot when compared to the cloudy edematous retina due to lack of arterial perfusion. Next question. The number of layers in neurosensory retina? Options are A8 Option B9 Option C10 Option D11 The correct answer is option B9. The most common cause of flashes and floaters is Options are A. Retinal detachment B. Posterior vitreous detachment C. Pass planitis D. Optic neuritis The correct answer is option B. Posterior vitreous detachment Last question Which of the following statements regarding exudative age-related macular degeneration is true? Options are A. Occurs in diabetic retinopathy B. Characterized by cotton wool spots C. Treated with intravitreal anti-wedge F injection Option D. Gradual decline in visual acuity The correct answer is option C. It is treated with anti-wedge F injection. Hope you like the video. For more optometry related content, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.